When we started designing this hall, we visited other halls which we considered to be of the highest quality. Uh, in particular, we looked at the uh, Yehudi Menuhin uh, School and King's Place in London. We very much were interested in making this hall of the same quality. In terms of the bigger quality venues, you're really looking um, over at Albra on the east coast and then actually if you're heading west as it were you you eventually arrive in I suppose Birmingham Symphony Hall before you're you're kind of talking about the larger world-class halls so it's a a great moment for the east of England and we're thrilled that such a quality venue is going to be on our doorstep. It's very important to make spaces like this adaptable so that they can uh, they can cover a whole range of performance types. If you pull the seating back you can have a very large rehearsal space on the floor or you can use the flat floor space for other things like banquets and exhibitions. So you have a whole range of uses. We're an international orchestra, we play all over the world, but our roots are in the east of England. That's uh, where our residencies are based. I think as an orchestra we're known for being very broad uh, in terms of our repertoire. Sometimes we're performing chamber music with four or five of our musicians and the next minute we're at the proms with about 50 players. We have arranged for the concert hall acoustic to be varied by changing the surface of the hall in different ways to create different kinds of acoustics. You can see along the high level our acoustic variable absorbers. These are acoustic treatment which will be covered and opened by timber panels which can be controlled from the control room and by opening the panels we can actually change the acoustic of the room and we have these acoustic reflectors above the orchestra which move up and down to provide the best acoustic conditions for different kinds of performance and to help members of the orchestra to communicate better with each other. The acoustic I know from looking at all the details should we hope be absolutely fabulous which is just going to lead to some stellar performances. We hope not just from us but all the visiting guests, soloists and artists and orchestras that will be attracted to Saffron Walden. Um, in the last 15 to 20 years we've had the advantage of computer modelling. Now, computer modelling allows us to build a model inside a computer of the hall as it will be in its different modes and we can actually listen to the room before it's built and adjust the acoustic to get it right before we start, even start building. Over many years of experience in concert halls going back 200 years, it has been found that the shoebox form, which is echoed more or less in, in this form, produces a very good acoustic. We took up the initial architect's drawings and put those into an acoustic model and found that the hall was reverberant, but not reverberant enough for orchestral and choral performances. We need a fairly long reverberation time. So we altered the model by raising the roof a metre, ran it again, the acoustic improved, we raised it two metres, the acoustic improved again. When we got to three metres, the acoustic, we thought, was perfect. And so the hall is actually three metres high, higher than it was originally designed. The new hall has the potential to become uh, one of the international touring circuit venues that soloists and orchestras and chamber music uh, practitioners will like to perform in. I hope that it will be a heady mix of the local, so developing the local community and talent in, in that area, but equally um, bringing in world-class talent and performances as well. Saffron Hall will provide the arts facility that Saffron Walden has long needed. I think very strongly it will complement what we already have. It will clearly um, work together very nicely with uh, Saffron Screen. It will also complement the Town Hall. Um, the Town Hall provides a great venue for things like rock gigs and dances. It's also another great opportunity for us who, whose job it is to um, bring more people into the town. The profile of Saffron Walden will clearly rise as a result of uh, Saffron Hall. We're going to get a whole new demographic of what we call cultural tourists, people who've not been to the town before. It will generate a significant revenue for the town. I had a, a sight of the plans quite early in the procedure 
and I must admit that I'm completely blown away. You see the thing on paper, seeing it in the flesh is quite, quite different and uh, it's just amazing to see how, how far it's come and you know, what it's going to mean to us in the Choral Society for a venue for classical music. It's absolutely amazing, really. A uh, whole different experience giving a concert in something with all the facilities there. I think that what, what really hits me is the, the flexibility of it all. Uh, is makes it a, a really attractive venue for all manner of things that I'm involved in. From the Uttlesford Orchestra's point of view, we've been very restricted in what we can actually program in terms of music because of the spaces that have been available so far. What we now have is a stage which is almost limitless in terms of what we can program as an orchestra and it opens up all kinds of possibilities for collaboration with other uh, musical ensembles uh, in the area as well, which is something that the Uttlesford Orchestra would like to do but hasn't been able to do for a long time because of the lack of suitable venues, so I'm really excited about it. We started thinking about ways that we we're going to be able to incorporate the incredible strengths that our students and colleagues here at school have and linking that to the community and the professional world as well. So we started trying to envisage um, a performance which would bring all of that together. We're going to create perhaps a community opera um, which will create really good links with our primary sector. Um, professionals in the area as well as um, amateur dramatic companies in the area. Without the Saffron Hall, we never had the space, the facilities to be able to link all of that together before. This is an outstanding area. County High is an outstanding school. The fact that somebody is invested in that, um, in the arts, is, is amazing. And I think that it will be truly appreciated and used within the school and the community. That building, I think, represents what the arts should be in East Anglia. Um, and we are lucky enough to uh, be the gatekeepers to it. So, you know, there's a responsibility from the school side, I think, to create chances to, to bring all of that together and Absolutely. create something special. Mm. It's certainly been really interesting teaching in this room with the uh, building appearing through the windows and the, uh, both the teachers and the students have been increasingly excited about the prospect of getting into this facility. We are going to run a, a live band in there, the concert band they're going to play with the acoustic engineer and the acoustic designer Paul Gillier on and we're going to put in a, um, an audience, the year sevens and year eights are going to come in with the first audience into the building to see what it sounds like with 600 bodies and to change the acoustic variation and then there's a lot of excitement amongst the student body already is to see what that actually produces and what it feels like to be in this building. I know of no other top quality venue that is attached to a school like that. You hear of, of um, some calls that are attached to conservatoires and universities and perhaps music schools, but to be attached to a, a local state school is extraordinary. It says, I think, a lot about the venue itself in that it isn't just about world-class performances attracting world-class talent, but it says a lot about its commitment towards education and the community.